joined now by Kyle Kalis. And Kyle, this has to be kind of in some ways surreal, living the dream for you here, a local guy, now with the Cleveland Browns entering yeah. your second season. Kind of what's it been like? Uh, I mean, honestly, just, just from, from day one, like you said, it's kind of been like a surreal experience. Uh, growing up here for a majority, uh, you know, chunk of my life, uh, just being with my friends, going, going through school, playing football, it's always kind of, you know, been the dream of, uh, you know, what if I get to play for the Browns one day, and, and, you know, here I am. And so that's that's kind of why I'm just trying to make every day count and get better at something every day and just, uh, you know, don't take anything for granted. And for you, this camp is not just about playing for the Browns. You are in a three-person competition to be the starting right guard, kind of in that rotation. Austin Corbett, yourself, Eric Cush. Is that hard to know that, you know, every third day you're going to be with the first team? Kind of what's that, that competition mindset been like for you? Uh, I think in general, too, just being in, in the NFL and really any kind of competitive uh, sports league, you know, uh, that's not really something you I think you should you should keep in the forefront of your mind. I think so that's one of those things that can kind of, cloud your mind in certain situations where really you got to just clear your mind, um, be able to react and just, you know, kind of play, play the game you're born to play and, and just do what you're a coach to do. And then, uh, you know, more often than not, good things are going to happen. You have guard center versatility. Obviously, is there a position you feel more comfortable with? And by the way, versatility is a good oh, yeah. thing in the National Football yeah. League. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, was, I would say definitely, you know, I've, I've played the most guard in my day, but I've, I've also I've also played a lot of center. I've also played a lot of tackle, you know. Uh, so I, I think guard, center, tackle, being able to play those those three, like you said, is, is, is huge at this level. And, uh, you know, the coaches have put me at all three, so I think they're confident that I can play all three. And, uh, you know, dire situations, it's definitely good to be able to do that. As a younger player, how helpful is it to have veterans around you when you're at right guard? You got J.C. Treader to your left, Chris Hubbard to your right. Uh, you know, it's 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 awesome. You know, ever ever, ever since kind of my, my rookie year, I, I've been lucky enough to be surrounded by guys who have been there, kind of done that, and and uh, have 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 lent, kind of lent their hand out to me and kind of show me the way and that that sort of thing. So you know, here is no different. Uh, J.C. is an awesome. You know, he's kind of the master and commander of the offense uh, as a center. That's what you are. And then obviously Hub has been in the league for for years now. And so being able to play in, in between those two guys when I get the chance, I, I definitely take advantage of it. When you think about this offense and what it can be with all the weapons here, how is exciting is it to kind of know that you guys can go out there and really light up the scoreboard? Uh, I mean, it's fun. <laughs> I mean, there's there's no other way to put it is, is that besides that, you know, it's fun. I mean, we have we have serious playmakers uh, on both sides of the ball, and I, I think when we, when we finally get a chance to get out there and get on the field and play someone else other than ourselves, it's going to be pretty. It's going to be pretty fun. Who's somebody that you emulated or somebody you like to watch film on as you, you know try to continue and better yourself professionally? Um, I would say I would say probably one of the number one guys I've I've enjoyed two guys probably uh, T J Lang uh, one one guy who I compare myself a lot to uh, I like I like the way he sets I like how aggressive he is and, and all that kind of sort of stuff and then also uh, Yonda is another guy Marshall Yonda you know a guy who can not all the time is is perfectly you know his his set's not always perfect but he he'll just he'll grab you and he'll flip his hips and then you know there's no chance you're getting the quarterback so I, I i like watching those two guys and also sheriff sheriff is also up there too um some guys i like to watch and tj lang with the packers right so your uh yeah. your offensive line coach now probably has a little familiarity can give you little ticks uh trips tricks of the trade from tj lang for sure yeah for sure and then uh obviously even, even too the past couple of years whenever he was with uh you know the lions i mean he he, he was still he's still kicking ass you know and so he's he's one of those guys i feel like just kind of like a kind of a throwback throwback type character um and so that's you know i try to emulate my game after, after guys like that what's something you would want the browns fans to know about you obviously the pride you have being here being a part of it something kind of living the dream yeah uh i think just that you know uh i mean growing up here obviously knowing knowing the kind of fan base we have uh i just i, I that's something i think is so cool that's, that's you know all these fans coming out of here and you know <laughs> the first couple hours selling out, you know, you, I haven't heard about that. I haven't heard that that kind of action, you know, in the three years I've been in the league ever, you know, at, at any kind of camp. So that's just a super cool thing to just be able to come out here and, and do it for the fans and and uh, just know that we're all working hard for them, you know, trying to trying to bring them uh, what we all want, you know, and that's that's the championship. Are you getting hit up a lot being a local guy? People all trying to come and, and be a part of this because it is pretty exciting. It hasn't yeah. been like this for Cleveland Browns football yeah. in uh, a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I would say you know, uh, definitely more often than not, you know. But that's that's also uh, being in, being in the kind of position we are, you know. It's that's definitely not a bad thing, you know. There's there's definitely worse things that could that could be happening, than you know guys hitting you up, you know. So that's, it's kind of, kind of a cool, nice little, you know, confidence booster when you know when your buddies text you and say, you know, we, we see we see out there doing your thing, and, and so that's always cool to see.
How much more fun is it for an offensive lineman with the pads on as opposed to the pads off? Oh, I mean, it's, it's not it's not even like in the same realm of discussion. You know, I mean, it's I mean, they, they, they call it, you know, playing it playing in our underwear. And that's kind of what it is, you know, because you know, you're not going to really be able to get a chance to make those big collision hits or, you know, make or, you know, lay your shoulder in there like you can with, with some pads on. Uh, so it just it totally changes the game. When you think about kind of what you feel you need to do to try to go out there and win this job, Freddie Kitchens saying, I want somebody to go out there and seize this job. What is it that you think you need to do to get that done? Uh, I think it really just goes back down to the basics, you know. I, th I think I, I'm a real big, strong believer in, in the basics of fundamentals. And, and honestly, before fundamentals can even come, you have to just keep your head in the playbook, you know. And that's, that's kind of the deal with, with all of us right now still with this, with this, uh, this semi-new semi offense, you know, is just being able to get all those things down, all the little details down. Uh, and once you, once you get those things down, then you, then you can start working on the, on the footwork, feeding the ground, you know, that, that kind of thing, being in the right position at the right time. And then, uh, you know, really just ex ex execute your block. And the thing is, I, th I think uh, just being consistent is probably the biggest thing, you know, cons consistently good uh, is definitely what they're looking for. So that's just, I got to keep doing that. Does getting all the reps and all the learning you do as a center as well, because that's really the quarterback of the offense line, you need yeah. to know all the calls, all the checks. Does that help you when you're at guard, kind of you already have that mindset, knowing everything that needs to be going on around you on the line? Oh yeah, uh, I think I think playing a lot of center is definitely a huge advantage. You know, it's it's, it's one of those positions where you don't have a choice other than to be to go home. You know, at the end of the day, and you have to get in your book. You know, you have to get in your books. You have to you have to flip through the pages and and make your notes and that and that kind of stuff. And, and that's kind of one of the nice things is when you're going through the book. You know, not not only are you making your call, but your call. You know, a basis a call for you know a double team besides or or you know a double team to next to you, or uh, you know if someone's pulling. You know that that's that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, playing, playing center is definitely it's definitely been nice to kind of advance, like kind of like the learning curve. You know what I'm saying? Well, Kyle, thanks so much for the time. Best of luck to you, and excited to get to see you go against some other people yeah, uh, in yeah, just over a week against Washington. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. All right, best of luck. Thank you. Thanks.